So, this is the, uh, the beauty of YouTube. I forgot to turn my microphone on on the boom mic, so this is actually the second time I'm going to explain this very same thing. Uh, I got the, uh, I don't know if it was on my end or Melissa's end, but the UPS tracking numbers were kind of mixed up. So the tracking number I have uh, says that I've got stuff coming from Baja Designs that's on a truck for delivery today. Um, I didn't get a tracking number for these. I thought these were coming today and I was going to have to wait for the kit for the fog lights. So what came today, or what's coming today, what's coming today is the Squadron Sports. So they will look the same except they're a lot less powerful and they're about half the price. And I have the fog light kit coming from Baja Designs. It is a direct replacement for the fifth generation forerunners. They have multiple different manufacturers, different automotive stuff. Like they have a lot of like big diesel, heavy duty truck stuff, um, a lot of Toyota stuff, but they have vehicle specific mountain brackets. So it will look OEM. So because of my old leg, um, I'm not going to be able to do that by myself. And I've already started to talk to my buddies and stuff. I've helped me. We've got the truck and we've got stuff in the background. So hopefully it's not too loud and I'm probably not going to shoot this again. But what came with this? What came with this is uh, another sticker for the back window of the truck. Uh, product registration for your warranty. These have a lifetime warranty. Uh, a diet goes out, call them up, they'll send you a new one. Something gets wrong with it, call them up, they'll send you a new one. Lifetime warranty, it's amazing. And these little burgers right here, I'll tell you about in a second. Let's go inside the box. So inside the box, these are the Squadron Pros. They're awesome. Let me tell you how awesome they are. When you buy other manufacturers, and I'm not going to name drop it, we all know the industry, if you will, of uh, the big names of lighting stuff. I mean, you go to Amazon, eBay, you can get these for probably 10, 15 bucks uh, for one or maybe 20, 30 bucks for a set. But what are you paying for? You're paying for junk. Um, these are quite expensive and this company's been in business for 20 some years. Um, and they started out with Baja Racing with uh, motorcycles. So they have 20 plus years of grueling thousand mile desert racing at night on a motorcycle. So you don't have the ability to have all kinds of massive lights and light bars like all these, like the Pro 4 trucks, the Pro 2 trucks, the buggies. You got one or two lights and that's it and they have to work. That's where these bad boys come in. So here, right off the box, they are rated at 4,300 lumens a piece. A piece. So it's over 8,000 lumens of light coming from this, these. That's it. These are going to overpower my headlights. They're going to overpower the high beams. They'll probably overpower the Wayland light bar that I have going right now to help light up the inside of the garage so we can see a little bit better. These are ridiculous. And then here are all the different lighting patterns. You can get a driving combo, spot, wide cornering, flood, amber spot, amber driving, amber flood, amber wide cornering. So what does that mean with these? This by far sets Baja Designs Leap years ahead in my book, they're worth every penny because of this right here. So right now, this is a clear spot lens. If I wanted a clear driving lens, get on the interweb, order them. And these are not crazy expensive. I think these are like 10 or 15 bucks a piece. Instead of spending another $200, because these are I think close to $400 uh, for a set of the pros, the sports are uh, $200 for a set, I believe, if I remember correctly. And again, I'll put all the buildings in the description of all the stuff below. But let's say here in lovely Colorado, um, we got like a little bit of a dusting of snow last night. We didn't have anything when I woke up, but it was cold. And they're calling for snow next week. Calling for snow, I'll swap these out. I'll have nice amber lenses in. And these are driving lenses. So they are a, a combination lens, a nice spot on the top. And they've got a fluke lens on the bottom that spreads the beam out, so it'll help me around things. And the amber color cuts through snow like no one's business. It cuts through dust. That's why all these guys use these amber lights when they go Baja racing because they work. It's not because they look cool. Besides the fact they look cool. So these are awesome. And I've got the pros here. 
and I've got the sports coming, and they'll be here this afternoon. So the, the sports, uh, I haven't decided which ones I'm going to put where. So for now, for today, the pros are going to go up top, and the sports would go to the bottom. But I think I might move these to the bottom and order a pair of driving clear lenses for these as well. So I will have the driving lens with amber and the driving lens with clear, and I can have some spotlights up top. So I'll have nice fog lights that eliminate awesome. Another thing that sets these guys apart from other big companies and manufacturers is the Kelvin rating of the, of the LED chips. And I might end up doing a video on why that is so important, especially for someone that's going to actually use this stuff. So if you're actually off-roading at night and you're, you're up in the mountains or you're out in, in, in Pismo and you know, running through the dunes and the beach and all that stuff, or for all my friends in Hawaii, you know, out on North Shore going out to Camp Point, man, the color temperature of your, of your light actually makes a huge difference. There's actually a lot of science and, believe it or not, chemistry behind it. These are rated at 5,000 Kelvin. It's the same temperature as what my headlights and fog lights are on the HID kits from Xenon Depot right now. At 5,000 Kelvin, natural sunlight is between 4,000 and 5,000 Kelvin. It's usually between 4,300 and 4,700. That's natural light. So what does that mean for these? That means your eyes, your human eyes, something that you can't change, you can't control, is already adapted to see that light all day long. So at nighttime, when you're driving, especially like, let's say we're on the Baja 1000, where it's a thousand mile race, and you race 24 hours a day, and you race through the night, you don't want lights that are gonna strain your eyes. Because it strains your eyes, and you get mentally and physically tired from just driving because of the color temperature of the light. It really does make that big of a difference. The higher up in the Kelvin temperature, the more that the lights look a different color when you look towards them. And then the output is very similar to that color. What that means is you're losing a lot of light in the spectrum. So you might have lights that you know, they have a nice blue tinge to them, or they look pink in that. But you're not getting any light. You're not using any of that. It just it looks cool. As we're able to look down the road and, and throw these lights down the road and get the throw of these down the road and look down the side of the trails or wherever you're using these for, you're not going to be able to see as well as if you were at a 5,000 K temperature. 5,000 K is pure white. That, you, that's, it's, to me, personally, that's the best color temperature. Uh, 4,300, I'll be straight up honest, is the best that I've ever seen for HID kits. That I've ever used is 4,300, but I like when I look at the bulb to have more of a white light to it. So I, I bumped these up from 43 to 5,000, and it's awesome. I could not be any happier. So what else is in the box? Um, we've got all the mounting hardware and the instructions. So these come with all kinds of mounting hardware, all kinds of different ways to mount these. And they work perfect with the, the ditch light brackets that Rago Fabrication makes. Uh, and then they have the instructions on how to wire them up, on the ratings, um, on your warranty. Uh, switches, or but these, your switches have a, a year warranty on them, but these is a lifetime. And these are end user changeable. You as an end user, as me, can change these light bulbs in and out, or these, I'm sorry, these lenses in and out, and they come with new O-rings. So I can keep using this one until it kind of gets cracked or whatever, or if these lenses get cracked or scratched or whatever, get on the interweb, just order another pair. They're like, I think they're like 10 or 15 bucks a piece. So 20, 30 bucks, you've got a whole new set of lenses, your lights look brand new again. Or 20, 30 bucks, and you don't have to buy two sets of lights. You don't have to buy a flood beam pattern and a spot pattern and an amber light pattern. I just buy this one thing, and I have all these multiple interchangeable lenses, so based on the output of what I'm doing, what I want these lights to do for me, I just swap the lenses out. So instead of spending, you know, two, three hundred dollars on a set, another two, three hundred dollars on another set, another two, three hundred dollars on another set, I can spend two, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars once, and buy different lenses, and I don't have to buy all kinds of different lights. Um, and, I, and I'm a big, I'm a light nut, as you can see on my truck. I mean, I'm using my lights to to light up the, the garage here to help you know shine things better. One of the things that I did not think was included, but is included, is this nice, sweet wiring harness. Comes pre-wired, pre-fused. 
has all the quick connections, and it has a switch. I was wondering how what I was going to run wires to and the gauge and all that stuff and run off the carbide, but now that I have this, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to feed the wire through the, the firewall, power and ground, and does it already have a fuse? And it does. It comes pre-fused, pre-wired, so everything, you know, make a couple connections, run a wire, um, make a hole for, uh, for the switch, and then plug these in, and you're good to go. Um, I've probably spent longer talking about these than it will be to uh, actually install them. So, without further ado, I've been impatiently waiting. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have been watching and have been impatiently waiting, but I've been very, very impatiently waiting. Um, I message Melissa almost daily now, and she got one this morning of, hey, this box came in and uh, it's cold outside, so that's why we're in the garage with the garage door closed, because when I woke up this morning, it was like 10 degrees out. So we got a really strong cold front came through last night. So, let's quit chit chat and start turning some wrenches. All right, I know some people are gonna scream at me for this. Oh, no, you're gonna scratch your paint. This has got the, the protective thing on it, so I'm not gonna scratch paint. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get these lights pre-symbol, pre-ready to go in there, and then, uh, then we'll mount them, and then we'll run the wire, test everything, and then wait for it to get dark out. The more and more I've looked into and seen Baja designs and what they have done and what they do, the, the interchangeable lenses, Baja designs, if you're watching or someone from there or you work there or you know somebody that works there, and you want to send me some free stuff to put in my truck? Uh, one of those real thin, the four module lights. I would love to go up underneath of my light bar on top of the truck and maybe do an output or a uh, video showing all the difference, the difference between the two of them. All right, so looks like these are the big bolts. Okay, two of those and two of those. There's the little ones for the side. And where's our washers? Okay, so four washers. So, you know, my dad used to tell me growing up that instructions are just another person's opinion on how to put something together. These aren't really instructions, they're more of like the warranty. It says instructions. So, I don't think these will go just like this. Big one down in here first. Let's do this. These are locking washers. Let's put these washers. When I tell you it was cold this morning, it was cold this morning. I had turned the heater on last night before I fell asleep, and uh, my wife, in her infinite wisdom, uh, turned her uh, heater down from. I had it set at 69 or 70, and she turned it down like below 61, 62. I was like, what are you doing, woman? My, uh, one of my biggest worries about these, and when I had, I had rigid industries on my, uh, a pair of dualies on my fourth generation forerunner, I think it was. So before this, I had the Tacoma, then I had the GS for just a little bit, and then I had my uh, charger, and uh, then before the charger was the Prius that we still have, and then before the Prius, was the uh, oh, it was the the four, and I really like them. I do. They were the dually spots, um, and I haven't seen these lit up yet. Richard's seen me put these together right now. It's the first time I've done it. It's not, 
before I did the video, I like told you a second ago, I screwed up already and I did probably like a seven or eight minute long intro and talked about these lights and and uh, then realized that I didn't turn my mic on. One of the hardest things about the one YouTube in these videos when I'm working is one, I'm just sitting in my garage by myself talking to a camera by myself. So if anybody walks by or anything, I just look like some crazy guy. Um, but the other thing is, is um, copyright issues and that, I, uh, I can't have my music playing. So while I've got the accessory on, on the forerunner so I can have the light bar on, so you guys can see me, um, <laughs> I, uh, I can't listen to music. And that's, anybody can tell you, and if you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But the best thing about uh, working on your car is shop music. You know, I don't have a big shop. I'm not a big shop. I'm literally in my one car garage in my apartment complex. I'm working on the, on the majority of the videos here. So. Now well, we got these ready to go. I'm gonna move over here and uh, install them. All right. So one of the things I noticed about myself in the last video, um, you got to see a lot of the back of my head, which isn't exactly pretty. So I'm gonna try to do this a little bit better. may be a, a little challenging. Um, it's got a, a, a Loctite nut on it. some pulls up. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to take these pods off of here and install the bracket first and then install the pod. So remember in the last video when I was installing the uh, brackets I said that we learned a lot on the first one. So we learned a lot here on this first one. So let's try this again. And this 
that's how I hoped. One side in here. Kind of tightened up. And this is a great look at my sweatshirt. This other side in. I tightened up by hand. Now I'm just hand tightening these. I'm not going anything crazy because I want to be able to move them around a little bit and then kind of adjust and aim them when I'm done. So that's one side done. Let's go ahead and prep the next one and get over to the other side. So in the interest of the lack of battery in my camera, I went ahead and did all the wiring um, off camera. It's not that difficult. Um, it comes pre-wired to the power on the ground. It has a, uh, um, it's already fused and all the connectors to the lights themselves um, are plug and play. While I was in with wiring things, I had some rock lights that I had ordered and uh, they were going to be used as pub lights. So that's what those look like. You can really see them on camera how bright they are. Let's see what we really came for. Those are ridiculously bright. And I cannot emphasize ridiculously and bright enough. I cannot wait till it gets dark outside so I can go ahead and get some output shots at night. But first impressions worth every penny. First impressions worth every bit of output. These, so far in my opinion, just destroy my uh, old Rigid Industries lights that I had before. And if I was going to buy them again, I would buy these absolutely, hands down, um, worth every penny. So at the end of the video here, there's going to be a couple still shots at night. Um, know that I'm taking these, we're gonna be taking the night shots with my DSLR, so take it for what it is, um, but they're bright. They put my HIDs, uh, my low beams, and my fog lights, um, I had those on with these, with the lights off in the garage, and it's not even comparison. So if you like these, go ahead and hit the like button. If you watch this video all the way through and you like it, click the subscribe, because I do have some more stuff coming. Um, as well, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I did zip tie a lot of lights underneath the hood, or a lot of the wires underneath the hood, and I still have to clean it up. I'm just kind of running out of time today before I go pick my wife up. But again, thanks for watching. Big shout out to Melissa at Rago Fabrication for the amazing brackets, the amazing deal on the, uh, the Baja Designs, and big shout out to Baja Designs for these crazy, awesome lights. Anyway, thanks for watching.